Hello everyone, welcome back to Esoteria Healing. This is Rio Kashyap, your spiritual coach. Today we are going to talk about a very controversial topic, materialism versus spirituality. I'm sure many of you wonder about this a lot in your life as I have done and I have come to a realization just like science and spirituality are two sides of the same coin, materialism and spirituality are two sides of the same coin. How? Now I am going to talk about the old paradigm first. What was the old paradigm? The old paradigm was all about being spiritual and having no money. Basically, all spiritual people had to give everything up and go into the forest and beg for alms and live in a small hut or not even a hut, live in a cave and basically sacrifice everything and take only donations or no fee at all for their spiritual services and in some cultures people actually used to gift food money gold to all the people who worked as a spiritual teacher or a healer but nowadays society has become a lot survivalistic as i talked about in my last video society has become all about survival so everybody is all about what i can get from this person without giving anything in return so i have had a lot of people come to me before who took my services and never paid me sending all my love to those people i pray that they heal and i pray that they come out of their survival state and the society today is a lot dependent on currency is a lot dependent on money as a medium of exchange and we need to know that money is also energy so if you are taking something from someone they are spending their knowledge their energy and a lot of things to actually prepare to give it to you and then actually give it to you and if you are not compensating them with at least an equal amount of energy exchange which is by the way money in today's world it's going to be a negative karma upon you so if i want to induce fear in you if i want to you know change your mind with fear i can say that if you take from someone and don't give them something back it is negative karma but i'm not going to focus on that although that is one thing that you need to keep in mind don't fear it but it is about balance of energy right so in today's world the balance of energy is happening via money in the world previously it was happening in other ways so that was the old paradigm the new paradigm today is based a lot in science we are fortunate enough today to actually know the quantum world as much as we know it right now and even with that limited knowledge we are able to understand how the spiritual energy and matter is one and the same thing so if i have to explain everything to you in brief if you go into the quantum state that is below molecules below atoms below even the subatomic particles that is below electron proton and neutron you will be able to see that there is nothing there but energy the electron protons and neutrons all those particles are also composed of quantum particles that are even smaller than these particles and when we observe these quantum particles we see that they go in and out of existence basically they exist as wave and particle at the same time so they move in and out of existence if you study the properties of light it is once again the same light is a wave and a particle also so at quantum level the material world is basically phasing in and out of existence what is the material world anyway if you take a hydrogen atom there is one proton and one electron in a hydrogen atom if you add a proton electron and a neutron to a hydrogen atom it becomes helium right you keep on adding one of those particles and you keep on getting more elements right so all the elements are nothing just addition of more electrons protons and neutrons right so at the very basis of existence there is nothing but energy there is nothing but those subatomic particles those atomic particles just accumulating and then making something else and the properties of the next element is totally different from the previous one right iron is totally different from carbon but it is nothing but addition of those subatomic atomic particles right 
So what do we get to know from here? I talk about this concept multiple times in my videos. At the basis of existence, at the very basis of existence, everything is nothing but energy vibrating at different frequencies, accumulated in different ways. And that was also corroborated by Dr. Albert Einstein who gave the equation E is equal to mc square, where E is the energy, m is the mass of the material and c is the speed of light squared so basically energy is equal to mass multiplied by the speed of light squared what is light basically light is like the blank slate of the universe right so you can multiply that with the mass of any object and you get the energy that anything holds so what does that tell us about the material world what does that tell us about materialism versus spirituality it is not one against the other I would say that it's not even two sides of the same coin. It is the whole coin, right? So you cannot be spiritual without taking into consideration the material world. Now, if you study yoga, you know that there are mainly four paths to so-called enlightenment, which is uh, Bhakti Yoga, Karam Yoga, Gyan Yoga and Raj Yoga. There are many other yogas also, but let's just talk about these four main ones. So bhakti is about devotion, reaching enlightenment or reaching that level of self-realization through the path of devotion, devotion to something, something higher than yourself, devotion to God, devotion to a particular deity, devotion to an energy. And then comes karma yoga, basically reaching enlightenment by resolving your karmas, which is what a lot of us are doing. Then comes uh, jnana yoga reaching enlightenment by gaining all that knowledge and then comes Raj Yoga. I'm not too sure about what exactly Raj Yoga is but perhaps it's about um, reaching enlightenment by guiding the masses not too sure about that but anyway reaching enlightenment can be done through all of these paths and you can also take multiple paths so let's say one person is a karma yogi but he also collects all this knowledge he's also a gyan yogi right let's say one person is a raj yogi but he is also a karma yogi and gyan yogi or even bhakti yogi right so you can take multiple paths to enlightenment what that means is that you need not ignore your material self. You need not ignore your family. You need not leave your family and go into the forests because that is going to have its own repercussions. Those people love you and they're going to get hurt from you and that is going to hurt your karmic balance, right? So if you are, let's say, if you're born alone or if you are born in a family who completely understands or are okay with you, to leave them and go to the forest then that is a completely a whole other discussion but what i want to say is that your material world is as important as your spiritual world and your spiritual world is as important as your material world so you can be in a family you can be raising a family you can be taking care of them you can be chasing material things and be spiritual you can be having material goals in your life and still evolve spiritually in fact Evolving spiritually helps you basically what everyone calls manifest all those material desires as well. Of course, none of these things should completely overpower you and completely take over your ego so it's such that you don't know anything else. It has to be a balance. Since everything is energy, if you work on your energy, if you work with the energies of the universe, if you tap into your intuition and then use your energy to work with the material world, there is nothing that you can't achieve. So if you really want to learn and if you really want to know how to do that, I have a one-on-one -on -one program called The Arcanist where I will give you all my spiritual knowledge about self-healing, self-exploration, karma, past lives, purpose, uh, life cycles and blueprints, energy, energy work, working with your traumas, working with your inner child, your subconscious mind and I will teach you how to heal yourself by knowing the root cause or by not knowing the root cause. It doesn't matter how to be in a state of receiving, how to be in a state of overflow without actually having to struggle, without actually having to work your ass off and all those things. Basically being in a state of fulfillment regardless of what's outside you 
and then how to move in a direction where the outside world actually adjusts to your inner world which is already abundant right so if you want to go on that journey with me just have to spend seven weeks currently enrollment is open for september so if you see yourself doing that hit me up dm me on instagram email me on my email everything is below or you can just fill up the form below that is the first link in the description and i really actually want to thank you because you are taking effort to watch these videos you're taking effort to improve your life and i'm so very proud of you for doing that and i will see you next time in another video with another topic like this have a wonderful rest of your day